Okay, it's finished raining here, so uh, I had to hold up and do this video to send you. Um, as you can see, I have uh, stripped all the decals off the outside of the boat. Um, it's something I've been wanting to do since I've got it, and uh, it's finally done. It looks a lot better. Um, it does need to be buffed. So I've done this one area here, and it's really nice. And there you can see where the the pinstripes were so and uh, all this teak I've redone including the swim platform it's got a dinghy there with a Johnson motor on it I believe it's 1990 something um, barbecue here's the engines I'm trying to keep this video somewhat um, short there's the generator I know it looks a little rough in the uh, the picture it's just the paints all chipped but uh, I do have the receipt uh, I had it in to a place in Aurelia and uh, they rebuilt it so and there's the uh, V drives down there absolute bulletproof these are uh, Mercruiser 260s I had the carbs rebuilt over the winter that was uh, the fly bridge And uh, here's my, this is all touch screen, so um, these are top of the line. I have a 12 that goes here, and then I have a 9 that mounts back there. And I also have two downriggers that go back there as well, electric, and the plugs are in that back cubby. Um, you know, it needs a little work, but I pull a couple switches out here that were, that were not doing anything. Um, you know, I was just going to put a sticker or something over the holes, but uh, other than that, everything works good. Uh, shows you your depth, water temperature, uh, has navigation on it. This is a brand new top by Convertiboat. As you can see, all the, the windows I just had tinted. Uh, it was quite expensive. The guy charged me uh, $1,200. Uh, I just paid him cash. It's a TV DVD combo, so uh, you can watch movies. I just got a bit of a shot of the whole thing here. Yeah, so this is all new upholstery up top. Um, the seats, uh, the bolsters there, the bolsters at the back, the curtains. Um, these seats are all redone. Uh, brand new carpet in here. This air conditioner, um, I leave this one on when I'm not here. Instead of running the boat air conditioner, the the one in the, the one in the boat is on right now. Um, but when I'm not here, I do run this big one uh, just to keep it cool in here because I have food and stuff. I mean, my my boat one will keep it cool in here, but um, uh, that costs a lot more money than this thing. So I'd sooner run this 24 hours a day, seven days a week if I'm not on the boat. Uh, it's got a brand new Kenwood stereo in it. It's all Bluetooth and everything so you can connect it to your phone um, All the lights are LED Again, all the windows are tinted um, You know, there's just a huge amount of uh, storage in here um, I was thinking about changing this but it works fine, but uh, I was gonna get like a, a newer model I think they're about 350 bucks um, I was also thinking about maybe changing the color of the counters, but again, that's something I was going to do. Here is the front of V-Birth. Um, these bolsters I have at home, there's there's like a piece that just sits on, just screws in from the back, real simple. Um, there's also a piece that goes up here too that I haven't reupholstered yet. Um, again, real simple, they, they just screw on with a couple screws and little buttons. Uh, this is a 32 inch DVD combo uh, High definition TV. It does swivel down and you can get at the chain for the anchor and stuff in the front um, There's the other HDS unit that goes in the back. It's a nine. -inch. It's the same thing touchscreen, but it's a nine inch again There's lots of storage in here 
Um, there's a hanger closet in here. Um, another counter. Um, this does open up. You can take this out so you can kind of walk in there and then sleep in the bed. But I, I filled this in and I've actually um, put a cushion in here so it gives you much more space in the V-berth when you're sleeping, me and my girlfriend, so that we're not... It can be taken out though, it just uh, it just literally lifts up, it just pops out. Here's the bathroom. Um, I just replaced the bottom of this electric toilet, uh, it was like $400. Um, there's a shower thing that goes on here and you can, you can actually have a shower in here, there's a drain there and um, again LED lights. Uh, I really don't know what else to show you in here. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big, this jackknife sofa folds out and basically it's almost the size of a queen size bed. Uh, same with this, converts into, you know, a very, a very large bed. Like I can, I can almost fit sideways just on this one cushion here. So, but anyway, um, here's the air conditioner. I believe it's a mermaid air and uh, this thing does all light up, but, oh, there it goes. 68 uh, settings and everything down there um, it's brand new and I, I actually just it's not brand brand new it's a few years old but I took it in and have it serviced um, last year in Cambridge and it was like $300 they checked the Freon and everything in it and um, that's it uh, it's got a PlayStation it's got an inverter on the boat so you can actually use, watch the TVs when you're out on the boat um, it does have the generator as well, so you could go out in the boat and technically you put the air conditioner on in here. And, uh, you know, the fridge works well. 